This video is for um, customers who want to know how to remove a BC20 NFC upgrade. Say you put it in, it's not working, or you need to send it back for service, or you just want to check the installation. Um, quite often, customers call in, they've made a, um, it's not working, and they need to go back, and either they, the video hasn't been followed step by step, or for some reason they need to take it apart. So clearly it is important to know how to take it apart. And it's really quite straightforward. You don't have to lever this uh, front section up or the control panel out of the receptacle. You can just turn the dock over like this. Remove these three T8 screws in the base. Okay, so those three are out. You don't need to touch anything else at this point. And then you can just let the dock come down and gently, I'll just move the camera in slightly so you can see a little bit better. Just gently pull this forward and remove the plastic part, okay. So the half moon moulding comes away and then in there you can see the BC20 sitting uh, inside the unit installed and all you have to do really is just pull it straight up we're pulling it out in this direction in line with the connector you remember the docking uh, the uh, actually interfacing connector that connects to the to the uh, button panel we just need to gently pull this out okay you feel it disengage and there we have it so the board can be unplugged as in the same way as it was plugged in if you haven't watched the video uh, the installation video then you should then you can see the button panel and to, if you want to remove the button panel for reinstallation in fact it is necessary to take it apart because you have to follow the installation it's not really practical to put it back together in this method the, the method of putting it back together is to remove this by pushing it out remember it's stuck in with the adhesive there we are you can see it's come out with the adhesive the adhesive can be reused it's only really just to hold it in position and stop it rattling so now we've got the NFC button panel board and we can remove this and as I say if you want to reinstall then go back to the reinstallation video and follow those steps do not try to reinstall it as a reverse process of the uh, removal of the board because it won't go smoothly right so you can just ease out the locking collars here and remove the board okay so, so that's the process to remove these parts from the SoundDock Original Series 1. If you are sending something back to us, make sure it's packed and protected properly because if it's damaged in the uh, in shipment, it won't be good. And as I said before, if you need to reassemble, then follow the reassembly video. Do not do this operation in reverse because it's not easy and it may damage the board. So thanks for watching. Um, good luck with your dock.